Welcome to Melbourne Cricket Coaching Videos. This is uh, Seth, he is only 7 years old and he is doing his warm up there. As you can see he is uh, struggling a bit to get his technique right. Um, there he is doing uh, Iki Shuffle, you can see uh, he is not uh, very good with that uh, exercise. So as a coach you need to uh, make sure uh, the kids are doing their warm up properly and master their trick technique. So, as I mentioned earlier, uh, as a coach, you need to make sure they do more repetitions. As you can see, he's doing the key shuffle again. So, until they master their technique, so you have to uh, get uh, them to do a lot of uh, repetition work. So, here, uh, this drill is really good for uh, batters to get their feet moving fast. Um, you can use a ladder or some uh, set of cones to do this exercise. You always have to uh, look at the kids technique when they are uh, doing these kind of exercises. Uh, especially uh, you can see set there um, his head is slightly back and his bat is well above the ground uh, when he's driving so those are the little things that you notice uh, when they're doing their training and uh, he's losing a bit of balance as well so if you can uh, get them to focus on those little uh, areas uh, in the warm-up so it, it will be much easier when you take them to the net uh, then they know exactly what to do uh, with their technique And it's, it's always good to uh, get kids to do uh, different exercises because they love uh, doing different stuff. Um, that will help them a lot uh, as well. At the same time, they enjoy uh, coming to training uh, when, when you give them uh, new drills, new things to do. Otherwise, they, uh, the kids can get uh, bored very quickly. Here, uh, we... Uh, get them to um, do the bat swing uh, with the pull shot, front foot pull shot. Um, as you can see here, he's a little bit better uh, than before. Um, he's leaning over a little bit more and his bat is uh, slightly lower. Uh, you always have to still mention uh, the technique, the required technique. Then the kids. Uh, listen to you most of the time and they, they uh, love uh, hearing from the coach as well. This is really good for your footwork again. Uh, front foot pull shots, um, just jumping over a hurdle, uh, keeping uh, your body movements uh, sideways is very important when you're jumping over the hurdle, keeping yourself uh, more side on position uh, then you can uh, swing your bat across uh, more uh, horizontal next we're gonna uh, take him to the net to have a look at his technique and the errors that he make um, normally you give about uh, five ten minutes for him to uh, bat freely and see what are the errors he makes and uh, as you can see he's moving around a lot uh, as you can see in this video and um, it's the basic things you need to uh, make sure you remind them again uh, about their stance where, where they're standing and the, uh, how, how uh, their feet movements are um, mainly stance, grip, little things and uh, some of the technical uh, cues as well um, most of the time uh, kids uh, tend to uh, rotate the back leg which uh, can cause problem with the balance so uh, when you are uh, playing any shot the main uh, focus gonna be your stability your balance when you play a stroke now, after the shot you have a look where your back foot is and uh, 
yeah if you if you're balanced and if you are getting close to the ball uh most likely you play a good shot here is some of the errors that he uh, make he's playing uh too far away from the body uh, as you can say uh, he's chasing a lot of balls so you have to keep uh, talking to them very good when you do that really good keep analyze the player and then uh, they start getting better you know if you keep you can play any ball you have to very good give them confidence when you talk to them you have to always tell them that they can do things better in that way they get a lot of confidence uh, when they training with you and uh, a lot of players they love uh, taking advice and they just they they want to improve their game as you can see in this video uh, he is chasing a lot of balls way outside the off stump so most of the time uh, this happen because the kids don't know where the off stump is so as a coach you need to uh, always uh, encourage them to uh, have an idea um, where the off stump is and uh, what ball to play and what ball to leave uh, leaving the ball it's a huge thing in cricket um, if you teach them early uh, it will be very helpful uh, for these young kids when they grow up. As you can see, he's getting a lot of confidence now. Uh, his, his movements are much better. Uh, his balance is there and uh, approach to the ball is pretty good at the moment. And um, yeah, you can see the improvement already. Uh, he's slowly getting there. And um, yeah, so he leaves the ball and he play late uh, some of the shots as you can see and he's guiding the ball towards the third man you know i have seen some coaches uh, don't encourage the players to do that but just uh, give that freedom to the uh, young kids as well then they they'll be more creative rather than uh, you telling them what to do all the time you know um, let them figure out uh, uh, what they can do as well you know, um, sometimes the kids love to uh, do things and um, they learn from it as well. And uh, if you think it's not going to work for him, you talk to the player and explain it to him it, why it's not working, you know. It's very important to give the players confidence all the time and talk to them uh, very often uh, at training. So here uh, I explain it to him why he is not balanced when, when he's uh, playing his own drive. So I saw that and I explained it to him straight away. Yeah, this is the reason. And um, I uh, teach him uh, how to play that stroke and then uh, took him back to the net again uh, for his training. He's very, very much confident when he's driving. You can see he has really good hands. You know, these are the little things that you need to have a look. Uh, he had a lot of control with his hands. Sometimes he's not moving his feet very close to the ball, but his head and his hands nicely in line with the ball, which is very important. So, as a coach, uh, sometimes uh, with, when you're training kids, uh, Again, that freedom that uh, we talked about earlier, giving that freedom to the player. And always uh, remember, when, when you see an error, you always have to uh, throw the ball a little slower and uh, give the confidence to the player to play that stroke. And every time when you're taking the player to a new stroke, throw the ball underarm. Now, as you can see in this video, I throw the ball underarm, uh, give him confidence before he uh, 
play his back foot uh, shots. So now he's pretty confident. Uh, he's really playing his shots. Nice hands. He's getting back and across. Here is some of the best shots that he played uh, in the session and uh, as you can see he's moving his back foot nicely and uh, sometimes he's creating that width so uh, that's what happens when you give that freedom to the player he do things uh, differently and uh, as you can see he's pretty confident and he's pretty good with his technique and his uh, movements as well See you next time with another cricket video. Thanks for watching Melbourne Cricket Coaching videos.